is here's home and homesteader on getting started insulation day there's still my pallet i've taken out two bats so far and got started so let's start with over here on this side where i'm coming in contact with the ground i'm using the wrapping off each roll i'm gonna put it down here as a vapor barrier keep it from getting wet on the ground i think you can see that there and then this sheet plastic here uh, you can see, or you can't see very well here, but I wrapped the first fold underneath the uh, insulation where I got started. And then as I put the insulation down, I'm going to bring it over the top. And from there, uh, that'll give me a vapor barrier on the top, to also a uh, wind barrier. Uh, but what I'm doing, I'm trying to get two layers of insulation almost everywhere. You can see here's where it's ending. I only wanted to go, I wanted to go as far as I could on that side, which was all the way to the kitchen window. And uh, I'm not gonna cover this window. I'm gonna start coming all the way to the ground here on this side uh, when I get over past this window, which will be in the next roll here. But uh, I'm putting two layers and I'm offsetting them just a little bit. Here you might be able to see better where I put the first fold of the plastic down underneath this and then I'm going to come over the top with a layer of plastic to protect the insulation and I'm putting the first layer with the pink side up the second layer with the the uh, craft covering on the craft face I think they call it face craft faced I'm gonna put that up uh, my goal is to be able to reuse this here stuff uh, when I get into a real building situation. So here I'm just doing it as a temporary situation to keep warm in the RV over the winter. Uh, I think you can see in the back too the paper that's coming off. I'm going to lay on there uh, across the top of the RV underneath the first uh, layer of insulation. And I don't know if I could do this good and safe. Uh, I will be safe. You can see there is uh, the air conditioning unit sticking up. And so I'm going to go over top of it. And I might get a little tight in there. And then down there, there's some rails around there. I think I'm going to try and go underneath the rail with the first layer and then over top with the second. We'll see how that works. Another thing I wanted to point out here at the edge, you can see I'm putting a little offset where the one face side up and then I move the one that's or the face side down and then I move this over that's to keep a consistent layer so the hole between the two each row will be covered a little bit with insulation all that's to try and help keep it nice and covered to give us as much protection as possible and uh, as Homer said in that other two-part video, because he dropped his phone and like shut it off somewhere in between, usually from touching the volume button, gets me every time. Anyway, um, my two main goals are to stay warm in the RV this winter and reuse as much as possible. I don't know if you've seen the insulating and rug part of the video for getting the inside, but I was able to take a 5x7 rug and uh, the, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, there are just scraps yet. And so I guess my point is try and use as much as you can. And if you know it's going to be temporary, like here in this RV over the winter, then try and reuse as much as you can. Not certain if this is helpful for you. I look forward to the comments, trying to get a little bit of my comedy stick in, as well as some uh, educational stuff as I get out here. Uh, that one morning at 3 degrees Fahrenheit was a little cooler than Homer liked it. Uh, so I'm doing this to try and keep in some of the heat. Uh, wherever you are, whatever you do, I hope that you find yourself at peace today with no regrets or resentments. If you got them, make up for them and let them go. Find your part. Do your best to reuse as much as you can. Keep warm. And... As I would, don't forget to share with your friends and family, they might like our antics and adventures too. Just saw your lag update on a property.